It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Ericonic Best Beer. It's from the Lidl. 10 beers in a box for £25. That makes it £2.50 a bottle. And yeah, it's a Best Beer, half litre bottle. Here is a look at it. All the information's on the front of the, this bottle. It's quite interesting. It's like they've saved some money by... There's nothing on the back. All the information's on the front. Barcode to buy the beer. 6.1% ABV. It's all in German. From the Bayern region of Germany. They're called Earl Brau. They've been going since 1871. There's hops on the label i'm trying to picture i'm trying to tell the story or read about the beer understand the beer in pictures i quite like that it's like being in nursery again so we've got hops on the label and we've got people enjoying themselves there with the brass band maybe they're at the oktoberfest or some regional german festival going on absolutely wonderful um there's the bottle cap. So far, I've really enjoyed the beers from the little box. Fantastic value for money. I mean, I'm drinking a 6.1% ABV beer for £2.50 a bottle. Try going down the pub and ordering that. Or try going to a bottle shop and ordering that for that price. I do want to support the independent bottle shops. I really do. But when the supermarkets, especially the German supermarkets, are offering these wonderful beers at the moment, it's very difficult, isn't it, to pass up the buck of, of, of saying, actually, I'm not going to buy those great value German beers. I'm going to go back to my bottle shop. I know, I know, I know, I know I should be kind of supporting independence. I really should. What I will say is hopefully... If this brewery is independent, hopefully we're supporting this brewery through Lidl. I know that sounds strange, but hey ho. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. It sounds strange because Lidl probably benefit more from the box than Earl Brow do. Let's be, let's be honest, the supermarkets really do have the upper hand, don't they? So the beer's pouring out, pouring out rather lovely actually, a light straw coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation. Now my glass has been in the dishwasher. Um, you can see the carbonation stick into the sides of the glass. Now I'll be honest with you, that indicates a dirty glass. When you get carbonation sticking to your glass like that, that that indicates a dirty glass. But I promise you, it's been it's been straight out the dishwasher. I use these glasses all the time. I wonder, maybe no, I won't say. I won't say. Maybe I should say. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit of dishwasher salt or something. That's we'll we'll work it out. Uh, one finger white head on this one. Yeah, lovely carbonation, clear, no bottled condition beer here. It's a clear looking fast beer, nice and light. Let's get the aroma. Typical, typical. I mean, you can probably hear the perfect draft that the tripod's sitting on. That's got a... I reviewed this beer this morning, the um, Spatten Oktoberfest beer. That was 5.9% ABV. And it's got a very similar look. It's got a very similar aroma. A little bit sweet, malty, kind of straw-like aromas. Light wafer biscuits. And then a lovely hoppiness, a, a kind of a peppery, spicy, stinging nettle aroma to it. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Uh, 
Ah, no. Oh, that's really interesting. Tastes like a Spanish lager. <laughs> it, it, that just took me from Germany in a moment. One taste. That took me from Germany to Spain <laughs> in one taste. I could have been sat next to a swimming pool in Spain at a bar or next to the beach in Spain with some tapas and some music playing, the sun going down in the background and drinking Spanish lager. For whatever reason, of course, region to region, country to country, they brew different beers. Yeah, they brew different beers, they brew different styles of beers. It's definitely a German brewery, so the German boxer. Maybe I should just try it again, but I definitely had a feel of, I don't know, cold Spanish lager. Yeah. If you haven't tried this yet, if you haven't tried it yet, maybe do some kind of blind taste test between, if you can get a, a Spanish brewed lager, not this rubbish that's brewed in the UK. Don't buy UK brewed San Miguel because it, it won't work, because UK brewed San Miguel is absolute trash. If you can get a proper Spanish lager, and I'm thinking it is one, um, or maybe try the Portuguese one. It, it, it is a Portuguese lager available in Tesco. Oh, what's the name of it? I know the name of it. Anyway, we won't we'll get too tied up in that. Um, I know the name, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I, whenever I'm put on the moment, put on the spot, with naming a beer. I can see the label, I can see, I just can't get the name of this Portuguese lager. Anyway, there's a, there's, if you go to Tesco, there's a Portuguese lager that's brewed in Portugal. It's not brewed in the UK. Get a bottle of that, and then get a bottle of this, and do some kind of blind taste test, and tell me if you can taste the difference between the Portuguese lager and this Ericonic Fest beer. It really doesn't strike me as German. It doesn't have that kind of big mouthfeel, that kind of biscuity, almost creamy like Fespia mouthfeel. It seems, dare I say it, it won't be, it really won't be because of the German purity law, but it seems like it's been brewed with rice or maize or some kind of really cheap malt. It doesn't smell, or it certainly doesn't taste like, it doesn't have that body of a fast beer. It doesn't have that, that crispness of a German lager. And, and, and it just doesn't have that, that stinging nettle, that spicy peppery stinging nettle like finish to it. But it's not, again, again, it's not the worst beer I've ever tried. It's not, it, it, it's £2.50, it's 6.1% ABV. And I mean, you can't ask so much this day and age for that price, can you? £2.50 for the, for the 500ml of 6.1% ABV lager in, in Lidl. I think it's good value for money. What I will say, though, is that there's probably better beers in the little box, in that little German box. There's better beers. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a, I'm, I'm going to be honest and say six, what's that now? I need to give it a nine. Six out of ten. Six out of ten for real ale craft beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Oh. Not that. Cheers.